In this video, we'll be looking at the reducing balance method of depreciation. You should already be familiar with the straight line method. And though this one's a little bit more difficult in straight line, um, it's still quite easy to do. Um, I'd also say it is a much more accurate way to uh, depreciate an asset, and that is why it is used by more companies. So looking at the, uh, the question here, a company has bought a server for 50000 and the server has a lifespan of five years. Lifespan just means we assume they will own the server for five years, and after that, they will buy a new server. Also, assume the asset depreciates 30% a year. So by depreciates, it will go down in value 30% per year. So the first thing you do is you create a table, and you'll have three columns. And in your columns, you will have the following titles. Pretty simple here. So you will have, oh, let me see. You will have year depreciation, so the amount it depreciates, and book value. So book value just represents how much it's worth, and this is what is shown on the balance sheet. Okay, and for the number of rows, it really just depends on the uh, lifespan of the, the item that we're looking at. So I also put year zero just to kind of show you how it works from the start. So at year zero, um, it has not depreciated yet. It is still worth 50000 and that is our book value. Now, to get the year one depreciation, all you have to do is multiply 0.3, so the 30% of 50000 and that will get us 15000 And now to get the book value for year one, all you have to do is subtract 50000 minus 15. So take away 15 from the 50. So we now say that this asset is worth 35000 So on the balance sheet, when we show our fixed assets, this particular asset would be worth 35000 at this point. And we can see the exact same thing. 35000 times 0.3, which will then get us 10500 So that's the depreciation. And subtract that will get us 24500 24500 times 0 0.3 is 7350 Subtract that will get us 17150 Continuing on, we'll go quickly. This is 12,005 multiplied 0 0.3, 3,602, and then we are left with 8,404. So one big difference on this versus straight line is this uh, book value right here. So we actually have a value there, where st straight line would be zero. What we call this right here is the residual value. Okay, And I would say this is more realistic because you would assume after five years you've been using the server. You don't go from all of a sudden we use a server to the next day it's absolutely worthless, it's worth nothing. You probably could sell that server for something. Maybe not this 8404 but this is closer than saying it's actually worth zero which is what the straight line method would show. Um, another thing that you would notice too is if we look at our depreciation in year one, it is 15,000, and it gradually gets smaller and smaller and smaller all the way down to 3,600 in year five, unlike straight line method where you have the same depreciation for each year. This, I'd say, is more realistic because we assume once the product goes from being new to used, it will depreciate the most in that first year, and that is shown in this. An example of that is in a car. Um, they say if you buy a brand new car and you drive it off a lot, right there is your biggest amount of depreciation, just in that initial drive, taking it off a lot, because it's no longer a new car. So this right here is just the reducing balance method. It's pretty simple, very simple calculations, and I say it's much more accurate, which is why it's more used than the uh, straight line method.